Hi, I'm Alex and this is the English in Ear. I don't know if you have the habit of using public transport or only when your private pilot has dropped you off and your chauffeur drives you to your five-star hotel. Either way, the origins of the words in this episode are still quite interesting. Today we're going to tackle transport of the masses, namely buses and coaches and a few more bonus words and expressions. Enjoy. We all know what a bus is, right? But is it connected to any other word with bus in it? Columbus, combustion, bus, Sinus, busker, cumulonimbus? Well, the answer obviously is no. It's actually a shortening of the word omnibus, where omni means all, like in omnipotent or omnivore. Omnibus means for all, a vehicle for everyone. It was first used in 1819 in Paris to describe the introduction of a long four-wheeled public vehicle with seating. The word busboy, describing those who clear tables in restaurants, is probably because they used to use four-wheeled trolleys to push all the dishes and plates on. Now they just use these enormous trays. Coach. Nowadays, when we hear the word coach, we automatically think of a trainer or a manager of some sports team. But where did it come from? Traditionally, a coach in English was a four-wheeled carriage pulled by horses, which gets its name from a famous carriage-making town in Hungary called Koch. These carriages were often covered and driven by a coachman and transported people from place to place. The well-known stagecoach is so named because it was a coach that travelled long distances in stages, usually distances of about 15 miles, at which point the horses could then be changed over or rested. These days we use the word coach for the more comfortable buses that travel longer distances, often between cities, like the famous Greyhound buses in the USA. But how did it then become used to describe a trainer? Starting in or around the 1830s, tutors or private teachers would be hired to carry or coach their students through their exams. Note that a coach in British English is a person who would prepare athletes physically, while it is the manager's job to run the team, choose the players, and decide on the strategy. A more recent creation is coaching, with a personal or business coach. Call Shotgun. When watching American TV shows or soaps, you may hear someone, usually a teenager, yelling, I call shotgun, while the group is approaching a car. But a shotgun is a firearm. Why would they shout this? It sounds a bit dangerous. When horse-drawn carriages used to transport the mail or travellers over long distances, the driver would usually sit atop the carriage and a guard carrying a blunderbuss or a shotgun would sit beside him to defend against outlaws or dangerous natives wanting to steal what they were carrying. Therefore, to call shotgun is when someone calls out to sit in the passenger seat. Ticket. This is a shortened French term, etiquette, or Old French, estiquette, which meant a short note or document, especially one attached to a post or a wall. This also explains the etymology of the word stick or sticker and the word etiquette referring to the code of behaviour in a particular group, especially in high society, which came about through small cards upon which were printed instructions on how to behave at the royal court. 
we also see the word in parking ticket. You know, when you receive a fine from parking in a place that doesn't have any signs saying you can't park there. Or a speeding ticket. When you're going 49 kilometers per hour in a 50 kilometer area. But hey, I'm not bitter about it at all. Anyway, folks, that's all for this episode. I hope it was interesting, but if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Have a good one.